two stay onto the Master Wong 10 day challenge. The stretching. So here we'll go full sail, the basic stretching you need to do. is the basic stretching that you need to do now on the last two one you can do that um, uh, what do you call them this particular one here you can do as a 
as a reverse up hole, like bend, like this. Okay, that bend one. Easily when you do the stretching and try to do a lot of this onto the Tuesday when you do the stretching day because your body start to getting uh, not basically do a lot of exercise you need to stretch them out the arm the body the leg the calf everything like that you need to be able to stretch them to make sure your body is more uh, loose and ready to work otherwise it can be a little bit of nightmare when you go throughout the day because the acid acid build up into your body uh, so you feel like very tense very tight and it's very easy to broken uh, some of the ligament and some muscle if you're not uh, stretch them out so make sure that Tuesday uh, onto the muscle 10 day challenge stretching out at home outside and using outside a lot today is a good day and it's good for the ground the flow so stretching is very important so practice and then Upload this onto the Master Wong Facebook um, MW Fit and all the information I need this video here is for you to get and download the book that I provide for you there for the nutrition for everything else. And if you haven't got any any strength, anything like that, make sure to take the keto OS to pump it up because otherwise you not got enough energy at all. So it's very difficult for you to do thing. This is the start of the Tuesday. Check it out. I will see you tomorrow tomorrow the heat training now get ready get home and cook something to eat look at the sample meal hi everyone back again today another day after your training for your 10 day and then you need to make sure to do something to eat okay so today we're gonna have for you is a chicken wing and then you can you can use it for many different things uh, salad uh, avocado whatever if you are using keto, keto diet uh, on it, then make sure you're checking the book out. Go to our website, click the link below here, go to the site, and then onto the 10 day challenge. They have got the book there, check them out, okay? So let me show you what we have here today for you here. So when you're eating. Now here, okay, so you have chicken, okay, chicken wing. And then what you want to do is add a little bit of salt for seasoning, a little bit of salt for seasoning, okay? A bit of salt for seasoning, so about, two pinch or something and then we're gonna cook for myself and then for the kid as well and then what you want to do it adds this one is quite simple okay ground garlic uh, on there so a little bit of that so it gives some nice flavor a little bit more okay okay and then after that you add basil okay dry basil basil is sort of like give you a little bit of good uh, sort of like taste and smell and stuff like that so it's very very nice on it okay and then i put that on on some basil into here uh, as you let me let me open that damn thing first okay so put a few in there come on come on come on come on okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. baby what are you doing mm -hmm. you want on the video you want to view now baby say hello to everybody hello. yeah so that's what is it and then you got to cook for the kid to eat, the kid love it, okay? Hold, hold on, baby, hold on. Yeah, hold on, hold on, baby. And then now, uh, after when you finish that, add a little bit of, uh, what do you call them? Bas basil. Basil? Basil? Put a little bit of basil into it, okay? And everybody's different, so you can add whatever you like on there, on there, okay? And what you want to do is give them nice little bit of mix. Mix them nicely and leave it in about a couple of minutes before you put into the oven, okay? And then you set them up. So mix them nicely, give them nice thing. When you're done with this, it gives you a nice sort of like crispy, smell very nice, and then you're doing all sorts of different things if you want on the side, okay? So that's what important thing about it. Oven, okay, so you basically set about 200 to hot them up first, and then after when you've done that, you can start to add all your chicken into it. Leave it for half an hour, and then afterwards come have a look at it, and then turn it over. And then you're going to leave it another 10, 20 minutes to 
other side, 10, 15 minutes to another size there to able to do them, okay? So, open them. See? So, here. Chicken is your leave it marinate for a bit already on it, so you can see the idea, okay? So, let's see, yeah? And then, when you got them, let me bring it over here a bit, yeah? And then here, all you have to do then, it lays them in nicely. Now, when you do this kind of stuff, okay, it's, it's up to you how you eat and what sort of uh, female. If you don't like basil, you don't put basil on. If you like a little bit of, uh, uh, of something else, you put it on, add it on your own taste, your own, your own way, you know, because cooking, eating, is you have to eat them. I like it this way, okay, I like it this way. So I do it this particular way that I like it. I like this way to eat, uh, like that. And then when you have this set up, like this to make sure they all lay them in properly. Okay. Lay them properly. And then you can start to put it in to the oven and then get them to cook. So here. Daddy, 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 daddy. Yes, baby. Okay. On there now. Leave it on there now to get it moving for about um, 30 minutes. That's done now. And then we're going to serve them now. Now is the pin is almost done. The pin is still steaming. Couple have look. Okay, now the pin is done now. So we have chicken wing, okay? And then we have pin. And this sit, sit, sit down baby, sit down sit, first. Sit, and that's sit, it for the uh, my jo my today uh, lunch. Uh, dinner, uh, lunch time. Lunch time, okay? And that's it. So you can eat and add whatever you want. You want to add some little bit more oil in there, a little bit dressing in there. If you want, if you do a keto, then you got to using our uh, uh, book to go through the, all the bit and pieces in there. That guideline for you, what sort of thing you need to add on. I'm Otherwise, I'm in that, I'm in that. Okay. this is what I normally eat uh, in certain things like this. So when I do the intimate fasting without keto, I this way, or if you use keto, you can use in a similar way. And if you want to follow full like, the sample meals that I provide, then you can do that way. It's all up to you, any way you like.